Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with L Letrotsky and myself, One Bad Turn. Oui, oui. Oh, Romanian People's Republic is now an ally. Fantastic. It'd be nice if other people join the war, I guess. Because right now yeah. it's just me and Romania against Romania. There we go. <laughs> we have France now. We just need the Romanian People Republic to join the Bulgarian Civil War. I'm about to take uh, Bucharest. Just, I see, just I why see, not? Yeah, I see that. You just kind of moved right on in. So in between episodes, you guys might have noticed my army experience kind of took a dive. That is because I went ahead and just upgraded all of my divisions. So my Alpine division, it's good to go. Uh, Colonial division, it's like a you know legit division now. And then I'm going to upgrade this once we get some stuff. We'll get rid of our cavalry entirely and just not worry about it. Submarine effort. Uh-oh. Don't lose the fight, sir. Just chill. Oh, uh, looks like you were kicked out of your little attempt to rush down Romania. That's really unfortunate. That's okay. You're winning your fight on the way over there. Take Sophia! Soviet Union joined. Yep. Okay. Alright. Yep. Good. Good. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, shit. What's up? Just all the notifications. Lots of notifications. Let's take Sophia, please. Everybody push for Sophia. If you can. There you go. Do that. Alright, how are we doing in Japan? We still have not made headway. We're 79 green. If you want to push in Japan. We're yeah, I'm again. trying. Because you have those 16 divisions, you can try and push those. What is this? What, a, what am I... Tungsten? Okay, I've imported all the tungsten I can from you. <laughs> so I'm going to switch to the Soviet Union. Because I can't import anymore. That. Oh my goodness, come on. We're so close. Looks like we'll have Korea. Soviet Union's finishing up there. That's cute. Yep. Looks like the Soviet Union has like a little hook down there. Yes. Of course, they're so freaking huge. They really are. They really don't need any more of Turkey. You know, just, just stop them yeah. here. We're fine. All right, so I've started production of medium tanks. I think that's what I'll end up upgrading my cavalry to, is just a bunch of medium tanks. Yeah, I get that. Now yeah, that they're pretty good. Holy cow. Are we... Yeah, we're upgrading and reinforcing a lot. Okay, good. Not to be, like, mean to the Italian flag or anything, but I sometimes get that me mixed up with Mexico. Yeah, if they had stuff there, like they used to, like the royal flag with the, like, little cross and red thing right. in the middle, it'd probably be even more confusing for people. Probably. Uh, the communist Italian flag and the Mexican flag are particularly similar. Because they both have yeah. a circle in the center. But they have different things. Like a, the... Uh, I think it's an eagle on the Mexican flag. Compared to the communist star on the Italian flag. Yeah, yeah it's an eagle on the Mexican flag. That reminds me, I'm just going to start boosting communism in Mexico. Because why not? Actually, yeah, if we end up fighting the United States, having Mexico is not a bad idea. Yeah. 
All right, communism has taken hold in Brazil. 5%. That's beautiful. We're getting there. I'm going to boost it up to 3 speed. Yeah. Bulgaria is nearly capitulated. They're 90% of the way there. That is good to hear. I took their capital, so... We're sitting pretty. Uh, expeditionary force from Bulgaria. You know what? Bulgaria, you control your own troops. I don't want to worry about that right now. Let's see. C200 Sayeta? Is that a fighter? That is a fighter. I finally have an extra fighter. Thank you. <laughs> well, I don't know how long that'll last, but I finally have one. What do you got? Oh, oh good. Damn. Go to the home islands and all of my aircraft are in the home islands now. Oh, nice. So. It won't help a lot. I mean, it's like 70 fighters and hundreds of bombers is all I've got. But they have almost 600 fighters. So, pretty sure we've lost out on that front. That's okay. Damn it. I might lose those Marines. Oh, the ones that you used to push across the way? Yeah. Well, we're at 95. Come on, push! We're contesting the airspace as best as we can. Lost their life to help us get this. Oh, let's not make it in vain. But we're stuck at 95. Come on, before they reinforce it. Can we just get some Soviet air support, please? No, the Soviets are probably busy bombing Romanians. I know. They don't need to, though. We've got For them, it's not about need. I know. <laughs> need versus greed, right? Mm-hmm. Pull back. Well... Just take that, please. Thank you. 93? Oh, your, some of your troops fell back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's fluctuating. Not one step backwards. Oh, my goodness. We have a decryption advantage. We have air support. Uh-oh, they're reinforcing. No! We're so close. Just need the Soviets to jump in here. Please. Oh my goodness. No, we're losing. Crap. How much do we have to do? My goodness. Oh, we're winning again. 89. We're winning. Throw your troops back into the fight. We're winning this one. The Soviets are here. I don't know if that necessarily makes me happier, but it's okay. Hey, whatever it takes to make sure that the Marines' lives did not fall in vain. Yeah, true. Right, you guys... Go take these out. Let's push across this river. I don't know what river this is. That's one thing I miss from, like, Europa Universalis and Crusader Kings. Is you could actually see what the individual rivers were on the map. Yeah. It's like, oh, you know, this is the... You know, some crazy named river. But you can't see that here. It is most unfortunate. Let's see. 
Uh, let's go with streamlined line here. What's up? Oh, oh. Romania won. Yay! Romania annexed. Fantastic. Fantastic work. I need, like, infinite tungsten. What the crap? <laughs> it's like every month or two I have to go order more tungsten from the Soviets. What even is this? Push! Really? Bulgaria, you're losing- oh, okay, fair. You're fighting Turkey, okay. I can understand how the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria would lose. They're fighting Turkey. Fair enough. But Spain's there. I guess that means Spain is losing to Turkey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Turkey's starting to lose, though. Oh yeah, no, they're... Turkey's screwed. Turkey is absolutely screwed. I mean, they took my islands. But Spain gave me a nice little chunk of southern Turkey, so I'm good with that. Well, that was an interesting sound. Huh. It came through your micro. I don't know what it was. Oh, uh, somebody moving a chair. Okay. I had, wait, I had convoys? Why did I have convoys in the, the Yellow Sea? What? <laughs> Apparently I lost convoys in the Yellow Sea. For whatever reason. That's odd. Yeah. Okay. Iran, 60% communist. Hopefully they'll flip soon. Yeah, you need to get them to seventy percent to just automatically spark a civil war. Okay. If you want, if you have political power, you can help me boost there. Uh, I'm losing point zero four per day. Oh, never mind. Because right now I'm doing uh, Brazil and Mexico, and I'm still working on my focus trees to. Uh... So I get my research buffs. What is that? That is close air support. Good. Okay, upgraded close air support. Upgraded fighters. And still generic boring bombers. Great. Weapons, engines, range, reliability. Can't do that. Well. I think it'd be fun to have a unique focus tree for Iran, too. Iran has a bunch of provinces and has a decent amount of oil, though in reality they should have a lot more resources than just oil. Well, but that's that's true with a lot of these countries. They should have a lot more than what they have. True. Paradox is trying to keep the game balanced, but at the same time, so many of these countries are just completely resource starved. You can't actually play yeah. as them. You know, I I don't I don't know what the reasoning was behind that. Um no. Okay, oil, fine. Turkey's okay. about to fall. Yep. Yeah, that'll end soon. That'll end very soon with Turkey. Forty three percent towards capitulation, but I mean it's just a steamroll at this point. Yeah, they can't do much anymore. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. All over. What about Greece? We could promote communism in Greece. We could. At this point, uh, we are, like, we're running out of political power. You know, there is definitely a benefit to getting all these extra people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Man, Bulgaria holding out. 
Bulgaria is holding out. We'll get them. They're gonna fall. They will. They're close. It's 83. Okay. 1942, hello. And this is why I'm glad I have a whole bunch of infantry equipment lines. Here we go, infantry equipment three. Good luck. We need... He didn't Holy... Himself, so. We need 109,000 infantry equipment three. That is disgusting. Yeah. In some of the ways. Yeah. I'm glad we have a huge stockpile of infantry equipment too, because that's what we're going to be using for a really long time. <laughs> oh my goodness. 96%. 97%. Come on. Take it. Yes. Die, Bulgaria. Republic of Bulgaria took two states. Thank you. Okay. Back to our garrison to make sure that everybody's okay. Oh. And Korea's about to fall. What is? Korea? Uh, Turkey. Turkey? Yes, Turkey is. First of April. All right. Yeah, Istanbul is close. This looks now that we've connected our lines, we're surrounding Serbia. I don't really know how Serbia is going to react to that. But they are working on an equipment effort, so that's how they react to it. Bolivia is improving relations with with Serbia. Why? I don't know. I don't I don't know why. Brazil and Mexico are really close. 14.5% oh, in Brazil and 12.2% in Mexico. 61% in Iran. We're getting there. Is there any way we can get the People's Republic of China to take over the rest of China? Uh, yeah, if we cede the territory we've captured to them and then push them into war with the nationalists. Okay. Seventy-seven. We're close. But we're losing in... Oh my goodness, Spain is now sending troops to Hokkaido. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get through Hokkaido. You made a beachhead, and now oh, everyone's just... We shot a said beachhead. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> just... Everyone's just slamming into it. And it's awful, because actually I've lost about 250,000 men in the process. Yeah. I've lost quite a bit, too. Uh, let's see... Almost 600,000? Yeah, and I'm at 450,000. Spain has lost a surprising number of troops. Turkey actually. has to be close to capitulation. 76%. Awesome. I think we just need to capture Istanbul. Mongolia is 2% towards capitulation. Oh. I think the Chinese hold some Mongolian territory. Yeah, they do. That's okay. My guys... No, they're fine. Okay. We're out of supplies and we're taking a butt ton of attrition. We can't seem to break through. Man. It really does suck. Well, I will be finished with my focus tree here very, very soon. So, 
I should have some extra political power to do some fun stuff. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, that's the hope. Let's do a search and destroy. Or not. There we go. Search and destroy. Eastern Mediterranean. Just make sure that we have that locked down against Turkey. All right. Well, that is about time, believe it or yeah. not. This episode felt a little bit longer than a normal episode. Oh, good. Thanks, U.S. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're a little late to the game. 1942. Here we go. Now... Yep, they've joined the Allies. Great, that means if we go to war with the Allies, for whatever reason, we have to fight the U.S. Yeah. Well, go Mexico, right? Yeah. That's why we're working on Mexico. Yep. Well, Mexico and the United States almost went to war in World War One. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we help them achieve that. Exactly. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Best places to share. Thank you to Amphit for being a Patreon supporter, and I will see you all next time with more Hearts of Iron 4. Any last words? Um. Great. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. DFTBA.